That's why I think with this uh, gun control issue, it'll be really interesting to see if, if the GOP comes around and understands that time is not on their side, the history is not on their side, and the young generation, there's going to be tons of them coming up, growing up in conservative households, tons of them in liberal households. Doesn't matter. They just want to be safe. Just don't want to get shot. And so exactly. what we need is we need yeah. Republicans and Democrats uh, to understand that the safety of our nation is at stake. It should, can't be a partisan issue, and right now it's a partisan. And um, that's going to be really interesting because um, you know history has shown you get on the wrong side of this stuff and you stick to your guns, so to speak. Right? Uh, you're in some trouble. Considered the source of how change the sentiment, were you pleasantly surprised how Trump kind of suggested to the Republicans that the, the, the NRA is hardly surprised. I think he forgot which side he was on. <laughs> it reminded me of uh, Anchorman when Brick ends up on the wrong side of the fight. And he's like, Yeah, and they're like, No, no, Brick, you're on this side. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, is that wrong? <laughs> I'm in big trouble. So that would not open a small sliver of... <laughs> Trump to Brick. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Raymond, Raymond said we're done. The bus is downstairs. It's on the first level. Uh, all right. That was, it was worth it. I know I'm going to take all kinds of shit. It was worth it. It was worth it. Oh, <laughs> I made David laugh. I should have known better. Well, you can say hello and David laughs.